clear audio is one of the hardest things to get right in your online meetings, in your video marketing, and even in your modules, courses, and trainings. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you four different microphones. You'll hear them side by side, and I'll also go through some very common troubleshooting that you may be having when you add a microphone to your setup. So the first thing I want to show you is, is how important audio is. Now, Zoom's done a pretty decent job when it comes to audio. So I'm going to start with the audio settings in Zoom, regardless of what microphone you have. In fact, if I take you to Zoom now, I can show you here that in the lower left of Zoom, where you have your audio, your little microphone, if you click on the up arrow just next to the microphone, you will have all the microphones available to this computer. Now, you won't have this many. I'm going to show you today we're on the Rodecaster Pro Stereo now. That's this microphone. We're going to look at the Yeti microphone and the Samsung microphone. There's the Yeti. There's the Samsung Go. And we're also going to look at the Instalink. That's the built into the camera. So make sure when you're selecting a microphone and you just plug one in that you've started here in Zoom and select the right microphone. One of the next challenges people have when they go to put in a, a new microphone is they don't have the settings right in in their in windows they can't hear themselves they, they they think something's broken what's actually happening more times than not is that the that microphone that you've just plugged in has taken over your sound so you're just going to type sound settings and you're going to bring up in settings the sound settings here and the first thing you're going to look at is you have a output device and it's very similar on a mac by the way you have an output device and you have an input device. Now, because I'm working on a mixer here, and I'll talk about that in a moment, because I'm working on a mixer, both my input and my output are the same. Now, if you have the Yeti, chances are when you plug in a Yeti microphone or sometimes even a Samsung microphone, both your input and your output will also be the Yeti because the bottom of the Yeti or the bottom of the Samsung has a headphone jack. And if you can't hear anybody, that's where your audio went. Now, sometimes when you fix it, you go to output, which is like what you hear, you'll click on it, you'll change it, and you still won't hear anything. So what you need to do is on the older Windows, Windows 10, you got to go to sound control panel or in the newer, scroll down to advanced options. Then there's something called more settings, more sound settings. That'll bring up this little guy. And here under playback, you have recording, sounds, and communication. Under playback, you're actually going to want to go down, find your Yeti, and playback is what you hear. Recording is what the mic hears. So in playback, if you can't hear, you need to right-click on the Yeti speakers. I don't want the Yeti speakers. And you disable the Yeti speakers. And now it'll fall back to your pre, your device that you want to hear from. So that's all you get first move is, is make sure you can hear when you plug in these microphones because they love taking over the USB. Now, the second thing I want to go through now is the different microphones and exactly how they sound so you can make a choice on what exactly what you want to have in your setup and maybe what you want to grow into. So I'm going to start. I'm going to take you to the web right now, and I'm going to show you and let you listen to the My Samsung microphone. This is now the Samsung microphone. I've just moved over to it in the recording, and you'll see here the Samsung is $30, $29 on Amazon. US, that's U.S. dollars, $29. It's a great microphone that even has some additional settings where you can actually have two people be picked up on this microphone, but right now I just have it set to the normal setting. In fact, if I take you to where that is, here, this is the Samsung mic that I'm on right now. This is the microphone. I mean, it's this small. It fits in the palm of your hand comes in a little kit with a little carrying case you can pack it take it with you it is a really it's a great mic for what we're using it for uh, the next microphone i'm going to take you to is the yeti so i'm going to switch over now this is now the yeti now i'm on the yeti blue and the great thing about this microphone it's it is a pretty decent bass but it doesn't need to sit on anything in terms of you don't need to have any kind of swing arms or anything like that it just sits on on, on the table pretty well and it actually sounds pretty decent. And for, for 90 bucks, this is one of the better microphones you're going to find that's going to pick up the clean, clear audio, along with having some volume control and a mute button already built in. So I'll take you to where that's sitting. That's just sitting right here. And on the blue, it doesn't need to be in the shot. It can be just out of the camera. In fact, you notice when I'm here, I don't even have, it's not in the screen. This microphone is, but I'm not using this microphone. 
the one you hear me on right now is not even in the screen, and that's a good thing. The next one I'm gonna to switch to is the, the Instalink. Instalink. So now, this is the Instalink microphone built into my camera. If I take you back to the web, this is the camera that I recommend, not because of the microphone. I recommend this camera because of the quality of the image, but I wanted you to hear that it's not a bad microphone option either. So this one would be a built-in. If, if you're gonna pick up the camera and you're debating between getting this camera for 250 or 300 bucks or getting a lesser camera and a microphone, get the camera, the microphone will come with it, already built in, not a bad option. And that's just sitting just beyond, uh, right in front, probably about a foot and a half in front of me. I'm just sitting comfortably in front of the screen. It hangs down from the screen a little bit. I'm not sure you can see it from here, but it's actually tucked up behind. Oh, here it is, it's hanging down just a little bit. That's the Instalink camera right there. So that gives you an idea on the Instalink. The next one I'm gonna take you to, and this is where I'm gonna go back. Here's the Shure SM7. And what I'm going to do now, now I'm on the Shure SM7. Problem with the SM7, for most people, it's not just a $400 microphone, but it also is going to include a mixer. Now, I want to be clear here. I am not on this particular mixer here. This is the Rodecaster Pro 2. I'm on the Rodecaster Pro 1, which they don't make anymore, uh, but I've had no problems with it whatsoever. This is my mixer. I have a slide for the volume control on the microphone up and down. And what I love about this is that I have independent control over not just quality audio from, from the shore, but I also have great audio when it comes to playing music or testimonials or videos or whatever I need to in my presentations. But again, this is a complicated setup. This is something you're not going to travel with. But I wanted to give you one more option that, that would... And it's not because this is cheaper, but it's just because if you didn't want to bring in the XLR cables and have all of the uh, the mixers involved, this microphone is very similar to that SM7B. This is the, still an SM7, but this is a USB version of that microphone that will plug directly into your computer. And this is a great microphone. So if I was looking at these and I was rating them, this would be like the, the Samsung is like the get started and then you'd have your Yeti, which would be a little bit of a step up. And then if you didn't quite want to go pro level, which would be your SM7 plus your mixer, I'd love to pick up the Shure SM7 for you. And when you look at these, this microphone, it is going to come with, it's going to sit on a stand. You have to have a little stand for it, but it's a great microphone that's going to give you years and years of great audio without going to the complexity of the mixer. Now, one more audio trick to show you. I'm going to go back to Zoom for it. And in Zoom, all I'm going to do here, I'm going to expand the Zoom window just for a moment because Zoom has really saved us if we want to be playing videos. In fact, I'm going to go just to here. Zoom, under the share screen, what we used to have to do, and I know I'm muted, I get it. What we used to have to do in, in Zoom is use complicated uh, virtual cables to play videos or play music or share our screen. If we didn't want to do that, we were kind of host. So what we have now under Zoom, if you go to share screen, you have your normal settings here, but you also across the top, and these have been beta for a while, but they're now available for everyone. There's basic, advanced files and apps. And I'm going to go to the advanced tab. And under advanced, I now have computer audio. And then I can just click share. So I can have my camera, or in this case, my, my OBS is what's giving me the video into Zoom, but I would have clean, clear audio from not only my microphone, but also from my videos, my testimonials, my music, whatever I wanted to play once I hit share. So in a sense, I get two audio sources in Zoom, but it is crystal clear. It may echo for about a second and a half, but Zoom will fix that as well. An amazing tool. Absolutely amazing tool, and this will save you from having to buy that $700 mixer, and you'll be good to go. So you just want to make sure that this is, if you're looking for content like this, you want to make sure you get in your studio right, you can reach out to us through Golden Goose Studios here on the uh, YouTube channel, or you go to goldengoosestudio.com. We have, there we have an 11-minute training that will take you through step-by-step -step exactly how to make you look like a pro with minimum almost immediately, I'll say minimum time, immediately look like a pro by just picking up just a few three tips and getting that messaging right to your cold audience traffic who will embrace you, give you your attention as you build trust and authority so that when you do make an offer, it converts.